Okay, very good. I wanted to talk about a couple of the things you're going to see when you log into Canvas now. Uh, if you go over to the Discussions button on the Navigation Tools, you'll see we have something here called Discussions, and I placed a post on here about unanswered questions, how to get questions answered related to your guided notes in case you miss something during the lecture. You will be turning in your guided notes at some point, so make sure that you're taking the notes as we go through the lecture. And like I said, if you get lost or you get um, you drop the ball at some point and miss something, no big deal. Uh, post your question here and uh, we'll get it going. So what you would do is click on the big button that says plus discussion. And your topic title, uh, just include the uh, unit. So if we have a question about Unit 9, say Unit 9 question. And then what exactly is your question? Okay, so there's my question. And what I'll do is I will save it. And when you hit save, it will go into the queue. And now when other people go to the discussions, they'll see there's a new question there, right? There's a unit nine question. And for people that want to go in and take a look and answer that question, you can come in, you can click on reply, and you could reply to that question with the answer. And for individuals that do that, that'll be an extra credit opportunity for you. One of the other things I wanted to point out besides how the discussions work is in the grades. When you click on your grades, you'll see that there are several more assignments that have gone into the gradebook since they've been assigned. Their due dates are there. And then what was your score? What is the total possible score you could have gotten? Right. So this is generally what we're interested in. Dashes mean nothing. Don't worry. The dash doesn't affect your grade. The dash doesn't take away from your grade or reduce your grade. Right now, uh, I've only graded one thing and out of two points, I've got two points. So look at me, 100% in this class, huh? Doing great. Now, if there is a need for me to put comments on your assignment, uh, this will happen. Sometimes you'll see a little blurb over here and it'll say comments. So we'll give that a click and the comments that I wrote on the assignment are visible here. Okay, um, let's go close this. You can also see the comments if you go to the assignment. And here's our upcoming assignments. Here is the past assignments that have already gone by us. I'll click on student information sheet. Yes, that was the assignment. And then I notice over here that my comment was added, right? The instructor added a comment to my student information sheet. So there's two different ways to see comments. And then it'd be nice, of course, if I ask you something, uh, if you could reply. And occasionally the comments are going to tell you what you need to do to fix the assignment. So take a look and see what's written there. That could be helpful also. If you'd like to reply, click on Submission Details. Okay, Submission Details. And over here, here is the comment that I typed out to myself about my student information sheet. And then if you'd like to add a comment, you can do it through text. You can type. Uh, if you wanted to record something with your microphone. You could click and record a media comment, uh, an audio file. Uh, if you needed to attach something and send it to me, you could attach. And when you hit save, it goes right back to me. And then I've got all of the updates that I need to see. Okay, so little information about some of the features that we haven't had to work with yet. Uh, how to work with discussions. How the assignments are arranged in Canvas, so you can see what's coming up, when it's due, as well as things that have already gone past. 
on grades. We'll see grade. We'll see the score we got versus the score we could have gotten. We'll also see whether or not there are comments that have been added. And if there have been comments added, what well, we're able to go over, look at that assignment. And looking at the submission details, we can read the comments and then respond if that's necessary. The last little thing I wanted to show you was related to the schedule. Um, and it's on the home page. It's called Course Calendar. Okay, so it's the button on the right over here. And if you give that a click, what that does is it takes you to a calendar. And here we are in June 2020. And look at this. Calendar's all set up. Assignments that are past a due have a strike through going through them. Assignments that are coming up due are listed in a little box. And if you had multiple classes and your instructor is using Canvas, uh, you could see all of the assignments for every class, or you could turn on and off certain classes and only look for the assignments for a specific class. Right, so this shows you what's coming up on a calendar format. And if you prefer to work like that, well, that's perfectly fine too. So hopefully this was helpful and it was very interesting reading the, a lot of your student information sheets. Uh, it's hard to get to know the class when we're doing things online like this, but I appreciate you taking the time to send those to me and to respond to the couple of questions I might have sent in uh, that went along with yours. And we'll talk soon.